All right, uh, I'm gonna put on a, a tow hitch from U-Haul on this uh, 2007 Toyota Highlander. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to do this by myself. I was planning on using this cart to hold it up, but it sits up too high. But anyways, let's uh, give this a try to see what we're up against. First I'll show you, uh, I did one side. This is the side I did not do. Get down here. And uh, you got this, you gotta get this out of the way. Gotta pull the plug over there. There's just two, two 14 millimeter bolts holding this on. You gotta take those off. I'll show you what it looks like on the other side over there. Alright, here's what it looks like on the other side. You got the parts off. This is just a upholstery tool I use for everything. I just popped the plug out really easy. The plug went over there. And then I just took the two 14 millimeter bolts out and dropped that anchor. So this is what it's gonna oops can't see. This is what it's gonna look like. Um and I gotta do that to the other side. And the bolts that are gonna go in I already checked on their 17 millimeter. Okay, I just finished up. This isn't rocket science, you know. That plug comes off really easy. And if you didn't have a special tool like that, you could probably use a pair of, or I mean a screwdriver, flathead screwdriver or something. And then took out the two bolts there. I'll find out, hopefully that matches up with these two and that one. There is another plug in the middle, but I guess that just gets covered up. We'll find out here. Uh, hopefully this fits, because this thing's it's not heavy, but it's uh, it's heavy if you're by yourself laying on your back trying to do it. Okay, finally got this on. The way I had to do it was I was able to just put my leg under this end and uh, push up here. I use these mats here, and uh, then I got my wife to come out and just thread one bolt in. It took her 15 minutes, but she finally got. It. <laughs> and once you uh, got one bolt in, I was able to do the rest of them. I uh, just kind of worked my way down, got them in there. On this side it's nice because on this side, the driver's side, the bolts are on the outside. For some reason, just the way it's designed because of the exhaust pipe and stuff over here. Um, on the other side, the bolts are like on the inside of this. So that makes it a little harder because you got to come up through here. But I managed to get those in threaded in by hand. And so I got it up there. And uh took a while but I got it done. And now I just need to go back and tighten them all down. Uh, I don't know if there's a torque on the paper but they're uh, 17 millimeter. So your lug nuts, 19 millimeters for your tires are 80 foot pounds. So these are probably going to be... 60 to 70 foot pounds if I were to guess. Just put them on there snug. Um, not too tight or you'll have trouble. Anyway, so let me tighten these down and I'm going to show you what I got to do after this. Alright, here's the instructions. Uh, the torque for those is only 48. And uh, here you can see what I had to do there underneath. And here you can see how these are on the inside on this one. Um, you want to do this with your car uh, cold, you know, don't have that exhaust hot because you you touch this tailpipe a lot, not a lot, but you wouldn't want to touch it when it was hot or you'd burn yourself. So do it on the cold engine and uh, it's pretty straightforward. It'd be a lot easier if you had uh, two people working on it, um, but you can do it if you can get one screw in then you're, then you can get the rest of it in. But uh, I think that's going to be it for this video. I'm going to make another video showing how I put the wiring in for this. Um, and I purposely did not do the wiring now because I wanted to see how I wanted to route it around there. And if I, you know, Murphy's Law, if I would have put the wiring in first, then the something would be in the way. Anyway, so that's it. Hope this video makes sense and helps somebody out out there. And uh, you have a great day.